Hey scientists, let's talk about the Earth, Sun, and Moon, and the special relationships that they share. If we look at the Earth, Sun, and Moon, they're all shaped basically like spheres. But, for comparison's sake, let's say that the Earth is a standard old grape, then the Sun would be about the size of a beach ball, and the Moon would be about the size of a pea. The diameter of the Sun is about 109 times Earth's diameter. The Sun is always rotating or spinning like a top, but so is the Earth, and so is our Moon. The Earth rotates towards the east, and it takes 23 hours and 56 minutes to make one complete rotation. That's why our days are 24 hours long. This eastward rotation every 24 hours is what gives us day and night. The side of the Earth currently rotated towards the Sun experiences day, while the other side has night. This is also why the Sun appears to move across the sky starting in the east and setting in the west. As the sun rotates, different parts of the world have sunrise, midday sunlight, sunset, and nighttime. If you set something tall in the right direction, you can make a primitive sundial by watching the item's shadow travel across the ground. A sundial uses the location and the length of a shadow to tell time. Or you can use folk wisdom to tell how long until sunset by holding your hand out as far as you can and counting how many finger widths are between the sun and the horizon. Each finger counts as 15 minutes. So if there's four fingers between the sun and the horizon, you can guess that there's about one hour until sunset. While Earth is rotating, it is also orbiting or revolving around the Sun. The Sun's gravity pulls the Earth in and keeps it at a steady distance. It takes the Earth 365 days and one-fourth to completely orbit or revolve around the Sun. But the Earth is making its orbit at a bit of an angle, and it's actually tilted on its axis. So the North and South Pole don't actually point 100% north and south. Since we're tilted as we revolve around the sun, we end up having different seasons. This is because some parts of the world get different lengths of daylight and in different directness due to its tilt. The area getting the most direct sunlight experiences summer. This is the side of the earth that's pointed towards the sun. The side pointed away from the sun has fewer hours of daylight and experiences winter. While Earth is rotating tilted on its own axis and orbiting the Sun, which is also rotating, the Moon is also rotating and revolving around Earth. The Moon orbits Earth once every 28 days. The Moon's orbit affects us in two main ways. First, it causes ocean tides. This is when water is higher or lower on the beach, and this happens because the Moon has its own gravitational pull and it pulls the ocean water closer to it, causing high tide. If you look at the Moon every night, you'll also notice that it appears to change. This is caused by sunlight shining on the face of the Moon and us only being able to see different amounts of the lit up side each night. When we see all of the Moon, we call it a full Moon. If we only see half of the moon, we call it a crescent or a gibbous, and if we can't see any of the moon, we call it a new moon. Let's take a look at a question. 